Alright, this video is sponsored by the message I received about learning martial arts as a complete beginner and being intimidated in the class, being one of the few females in the class, feeling smaller and weaker and feeling that they're, um, she is learning slower and things of that nature. You know, as an instructor, sometimes you, you forget when you've been training for so long, for like over 20 years or whatever, sometimes you forget how it's like to be a beginner. Um, until you start something totally brand new yourself, but, you know, sometimes you forget, and I, I forget, and, and really, um, it may take the instructor to realize the type of training environment that he's creating that, um, will ultimately give him more success when he encounters different people to train. I noticed that when you train somebody, there is a reflection of their um, kind of their natural expression. It could be more introverted or extroverted, and the instructor kind of has to adapt to that. But he cannot make everybody happy when there's a big class of people. Now, if it's just one on one, then it's easier for the, the for the instructor to adapt. But in a class, he can't really make everybody happy. But he could try his hardest. What I say is that it's gonna be, you know difficult at first and feeling that you may be the only female and there's males everywhere but really what I say is just not to allow um, something that's like that to prevent you from prevailing um, martial arts really I, I believe is more it's supposed to be designed for the smaller and the weaker and I think it is sad that there's not that many females that practice the martial arts and is so malely dominated. And I would I would never ever compare you know yourself to a male, um, especially a male that's practicing martial arts. Um, you're you're going to be doing something where you are learning special knowledge. So, if anything, the best thing to do is not to compare yourself to anybody. But if you are going to compare yourself to somebody, then um, you're comparing yourself to the wrong people as far as um, comparing yourself to males that practice martial art. Basically, you should see yourself as basically... Um, learning a way of self-defense so you could have a better chance of survival um, if your life is ever in danger. And you're going to have a lot more of an, of an edge compared to somebody that has no training at all, um, male or female. And especially females... A lot of females don't take martial arts, and really, um, you're going to be an advantage above a lot of females in that respect. As far as feeling weaker, once again, if you compare yourself to a male, I mean, you will more than likely always feel weaker, because men are... Um, going to be stronger but you also if you compare yourself to men who are practicing martial arts then they may be stronger than the average man 
Um, but if you train really hard as a female, um, you may end up being a lot stronger than the average man, man as well. Um, so, what I say is just to stop the comparison altogether, but I know it might be difficult when you're in a class because there's all these other people at different levels and some of these people may have been there for a couple of years and they're at a pretty high level and then it makes you feel like you're not as good. And um, I think that self-consciousness, um, when I step back, I, I, I could probably see that that's one of the biggest things that make people quit. And what I say from my experiences, I wish that the people that did quit, that I used to train, would speak to me directly about it so I could help them with it. But they didn't speak to me and they just left. And I think that, um, you know, the instructor is not a perfect person. They, they, they may be good at martial arts, they may be strong, they may be talented, they may be a good artist, but being an instructor is a different type of thing. Um, being a good instructor is a different type of thing. And he may need development in that aspect. So, um, I would say if you felt comfortable, you could privately speak to him and communicate exactly what you communicated to me so then that he's aware of how you feel and he will, he can do what he can to make the environment a better training environment for you you know basically that communication is important in your development and that's one of the the things that is a part of the whole learning experience is not just about learning how to fight, learning how to defend yourself. It's about learning about yourself and learning to communicate to other people like how you feel. Um, that's part of the, the way of becoming mature and growing as an adult. And this is a an important skill that you can um, obtain from learning martial arts and then you apply it to other areas of your life so meaning your relationships you know with, no matter if you have a boyfriend or a husband or you, you know your relationship between your your siblings and your parents and your friends many times there's going to be situations where you feel a certain way and you're going to have to learn to communicate that to the person um, in order for them to understand you more. So what I say is that that's something that you could do is communicate that to your instructor so that he's aware and he can help make the training environment better for you um, or do what he can. Another thing is, is just to realize that when you start something new, yeah, you're not going to be perfect. Yeah, you're going to be weak. But, you, you know, yeah, you might be a little slow right now. But it doesn't mean that you're going to be slow forever. Um, you're going to start off slow. And just look at the development of a of an infant. The infant is totally weak, you know. Um... Be, you know, complete beginner, you know, can't walk, can't crawl, can't talk, and we were all weak, all of us, um, the strongest man in the world that has ever lived it was an infant, completely weak and helpless, and then he ended up becoming the strongest person in the world, um, we all start off weak, um, we all had to learn to crawl before we walk we all have to learn to walk before we run and everybody started off weak and then they became strong some people grow at different levels I mean everybody grows at different levels some people have growth spurts of where they grow very fast during um, junior high 
and then their growth stops um, early. They might stop growing at high school and then they end up being shorter compared to the rest as they, you know, in the later years of life. And some people grow slow at the beginning and then all of a sudden they get a huge growth spurt during college and they end up being, they end up being a lot taller than a lot of people. So what I'm basically saying is that you might be learning, you might feel that you're learning slow now, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be slow forever. You might, you might, um, progress in other areas very quickly and just like for example you talked about your appreciation for the spiritual aspect of the martial arts that appreciation alone already shows that that you're at a higher level in that respect where a lot of people might be good fighters but they have a very difficult time grasping the spiritual understanding so physically you may feel like you're a slower pace than other people but look at the other areas of development, such as the spiritualness. You have to be at a higher level. You must be at a higher level just from your appreciation of the spiritual aspects. So you must, you know, you will probably progress very quickly in the spiritual understanding. And as far as the mental, the mental I see is like the, t the understanding of the technique. And if you appreciate the spirituality, then it would be much easier to grasp the understanding of the technique. Um... And, and progress in that area at a much quicker level. When it comes to the technique learning, it's more like dance. Some people are good at dancing, and some people just cannot dance. Um, the people that are good at dancing, they're going to be able to pick up the technique very quickly. But as far as the physical development, the development of your fitness, of your, um, you know, your cardio, and your speed, and your strength, that takes time. You know, it takes a lot of time and uh, a lot of time and effort another thing you could do is just start to um, learn some you know train physically more on your own take advantage of instructional videos on YouTube that will teach you to be more fit um, you know push-ups sit-ups squats things of that nature and pull-ups and just get as physically fit as you can on your own you don't really need an instructor to teach you that in a martial arts class. You can do that on your own. I mean, the more that you do that on, on your own, the stronger you will be. And the stronger that you are, the more physically fit you are, um, the easier it will be for you to um, be, be able to execute the techniques in a more efficient manner. So then you will progress a lot quicker. Alright, so those are some suggestions when you start off something new everybody will have some type of self-consciousness and really that's why you're training is to go beyond the self-consciousness um, you know you think that people that get really good um, that they don't get self-conscious I mean that's why a lot of these people compete a lot of these men they compete because they're self-conscious. They don't think they're good enough. Even though, like, like to other people, they look like, man, they're really good. But inside, they they don't feel that they're really good. They, they're really self-conscious. That's why they compete. That's why they fight in competitions all the time. Because they don't think they're good enough. And so no matter what level you're at, you can be self-conscious. You could be one of the, you could be extremely athletic and fit and very good at technique but and still be very self-conscious because you never think you're good enough so what I'm basically saying is that this martial art training is supposed to help you go beyond that self-consciousness to, to basically have no mind no thought and that's basically what meditation is and it really has nothing to do with how good you are in your technique execution or how fit you are or anything it's just basically liberating your mind from that self-consciousness, liberating, liberating your mind from all those thoughts, and to have no thoughts, no mind. And that will take time. So, um, as you train in the martial art, um, start to, now that you see these thoughts running through your mind, find the time of where it will be silent, and then you will be in meditation. And the whole goal is to train while you're in meditation.